Welcome back to Call for Help. On the Tech TV NetCam Network, we have one of our first net cameras that ever, ever net cammed in. It's Ken Saffis, and he has a question for Silicon Alley. Ken, you there? Yeah, I'm here. How you doing? Hi. Real good. Good. Nice. Good. To, so you've moved, Ken. You used to be a local in California, right? Yeah, I moved in the last year. All right. Well, he was, Ken was like famous for the fact that he was one of the few people that could actually get a net cam working <laughs> back in the old days when it involved a card. There was no USB. That's right. So um, he's quite a hero. But anyway, Ken, what's your uh, question for us? Uh, my friend Tom and I were discussing uh, web pages, and what I'd like to know is if there's an easy way to get a web page formatted across all resolutions. Because uh, usually, if you have like 800 by 600 or 1024 by 768, lower and higher resolutions are hard to get the formatting to work correctly. Yeah, we had yeah. an email that just came in from a gal who was trying to figure out what this resolution issue was and how it changed websites. Yeah. Uh, most people still using 800 by 600. A lot of people seconds. still using, yeah, they are, but a lot of people still using 640 by 480. Um, you know, there's and 1024 and above that too. Yeah. So I mean, it's like the major bugbear for web designers because there's no real easy answer uh, for this because there's so many things out of your control. How a website is viewed on a particular person's, you know, monitor. So and um, Becky brought it up earlier. Of course, there's different resolutions and that affects how your website looks. And actually, we've done some stills of our website at different resolutions just so you can take a look. So let's look at um, 640 by 480 first up. Um, and you can see, actually, you know, you're not seeing the entire web page there. You'd actually have to scroll across um, to see it. So you're not seeing, you know, really, that's, that's all you're seeing. If you notice that Tech TV has put the nav bar, you see the major nav bar in that first section. So that's a design note to remember, like, even if the majority of your viewers are seeing something at 800 by 600, at least keep the appropriate information within that sort of 640 by 480 frame so, if that's so they don't have to scroll. If that's 640 by 480, let's see 800 by 600, mm -hmm. you'll see a real distinct difference. There's much more of the page available, although in the case of our site, you really get the ads now. <laughs> well, yeah, and you still have um, a scroll bar happening, I think, or maybe a little bit. And uh, let's, let's go to 1024, because that's when it really sort of shows it off the best. Everything so you can see there, small. but then of course, of course the font is smaller, mm -hmm. right? So um, what can you do to kind of take into account all these different sort of resolutions, monitor sizes, and browser types? Because some browsers like open it like, you know, they take up a whole bunch of space on your screen as well. And I think like uh, Navigator sometimes opens, I think at like only 500 across on a Mac. So um, I'm going to show you one solution, which of course I'm fond of, which is Flash. Um, and I just want you to see how this works. Um, let's just go to the screen. Hmm. Why do I need, need a network password, I wonder? Let's cancel out of that. Okay. Let's see if we can find another site. There we go. Yeah. Um, I'm actually trying to show in digit.com. That's very That's bizarre. Let me just um, try. Well, the whole point with, <laughs> that's very weird, you'd need a, a network password to get into a site, but um, the whole point with Flash is that it's vector graphics and you can design your movie so that it, it shrinks and, and expands to fit the available um, area on a user's screen. So the advantage of that is whether, how tiny or how big your screen is, you'll still be able to see it. If you go to yeah. Macromedia, they may try, also have... Try um, www.indige.com and <laughs> that might do the trick. Now, um, what do you mean so by vector I don't graphics, know, Al? Um, it basically means it's a, it's a graphic that um, is a small, uh, is that at any kind of resolution, oh great, let's get go. in there and then I can better explain it by actually showing it to you. So um, Indige is an example of a site that's using Flash and what's cool about Flash that you just mentioned is it's vector graphics, it shrinks to fit. Right, exactly. And um, I'll show you that in just a moment. I don't know, like Ken, is that something you're interested in, Flash? Yes. Uh, have you played with it at all? A little bit. Kind of expensive software, though. It yeah. is, but you can sort of you can try it out for a little while for free. You can try it out for 30 minutes. Um, we're just loading here. I just wanted to. Sh this is like just such a beautiful example. There's many different ways that you can do this. You can use frames. You can use tables. But I just want to show you Flash. If it loads. Yeah. Eventually. One quick thing while this is loading, if yeah. I can mention this, Ken. The obvious thing to do here is just to check your website by changing the resolution on your PC as you look at it. First in 640, then in 8 by 6, and then up in 1024. And just make sure that you look at it yourself in all three resolutions. That's I found that frame seems to work the best. 
Yeah, and, and the trick with frames is to use percentages and not use pixels, okay? So you, you choose your, um, your, you know, you say, okay, I want, you know, my nav bar to take 25% of the screen, and then I'm just going to tell the browser to uh, use the remaining amount of screen. And, and then that means that, again, like, like Flash, will expand and contract to fit the user's screen. So, Ken, that's actually, I think frames are a good way around it. Let me quickly show you this site. It's so um, gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Actually, they use this mu uh, music in Survivor Australia. But see? Oh, wow. So, so the beauty of that is it's just shrinking and um, expanding to fit your, the available area. Oh. So that's a really nice trick. Of course, frames will do this. And the other trick, use percentages and tables. I've got all this information on the website. And, um, and then the information will expand and contract to fit the user's screen. It's all at techtv.com slash call for help, and you can keyword search web workshop, Ken. Thanks so much for being an original Yay! and sticking around three and a half years later. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Thanks, Ken, for your call. Appreciate it. Have a great it. one. You take Thanks. care.